I hear it all the time. If you're not a feminist, you must be against women's progress. But here's the deal. Feminism. You love it, hate it, or redefine it to fit your preconceived narrative. But what is it really? Technically, feminism is the simple belief that women and men are equal. Now, you would be hard pressed to find a sane person in the United States who doesn't believe that women and men should have the same rights. Which is why I'm often asked by other women, why won't you call yourself a feminist? After all, I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for women throughout history fighting for my right to have a voice. Well, I can't call myself a modern day feminist because feminism just isn't what it used to be. We're now in what we call the third wave of feminism, and to understand what that means, we need to back up. The first real wave of feminism was kickstarted in 1848 at the Seneca Falls Convention. The women there wanted basic control of their lives. They wanted to abolish slavery, and they wanted the right to retain property. They even brought up the radical notion that possibly, maybe, women should have the right to vote. It wasn't until 72 years later, in 1920, that women were granted that right through the 19th Amendment. The second wave of feminism came in the 1960s and 70s, resulting in the right to use birth control, anti-sex discrimination laws, and Roe versus Wade, aka the legalization of abortion. The third wave of feminism, which is happening now, is in some ways a continuation of the second wave, and in other ways, it's completely different. These feminists still fight against what they believe to be a gender wage gap, they still advocate for reproductive rights, they're still decrying the injustices of sexual discrimination, and they're still battling the evil villain that is white patriarchy. But today's feminism is a completely different beast. Not only are the third wavers vastly different from their suffragette foremothers, they also differ from their 1960s and 70s predecessors. They're no longer just fighting for women to have the same rights that men have. They're fighting for the emasculation of men, the fluidity of gender, uninhibited abortion, and the resistance. They parade around in anatomical hats and I heart abortion t-shirts. They skip work to show their economic worth. They tell other women they're an embarrassment to the female gender for simply holding differing political views. What's different about the 2017 brand of feminism is its complete and unashamed embrace of every part of the liberal ideology. Now, in order to be a feminist, you not only have to be pro-choice and anti-patriarchy, you also have to embrace the LGBT agenda, fully support Planned Parenthood, and hate Donald Trump. Feminism has embraced a doctrine that attempts to fit women into an ideological mold, which is ironic considering that's the very thing they say they're fighting against. A culture that pigeonholes women into thinking and acting in a way that's deemed acceptable by society. I could make a long list of the additional inconsistencies of third wave feminism from their silence on the oppression of Islam and Sharia law to their embrace of celebrities whose lyrics, words, and actions do anything but elevate women. But you get the picture. Third wave feminism isn't progress, it's hypocrisy. Feminism in 2017 has become exclusively anti-conservative, exclusively pro-abortion, and fundamentally exclusively liberal. They argue that you cannot truly be a feminist and be a pro-life conservative. And so, not only am I apparently not allowed to be a part of modern feminism, I also don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of a movement that tells me I have to meet certain political prerequisites to be included. I don't want to share a label with women who tell me that I can't fight for women's equality and want to protect unborn children. I don't want to be categorized with women who shame other women for their vote. I want to care about women and humanity as a whole without an ideology that in many ways is diametrically opposed to my values. I want women to be empowered and have opportunities and be whoever they want to be, but I don't want them to think that they have to be a liberal to get there. So until that's possible, I won't call myself a feminist. I can be outspoken, career-driven, and ambitious, and I can also be confident in those things without forsaking my principles and buying into the lie that feminism is the only means by which we can help ourselves and help other women. And if you're like me, you shouldn't either.